So okay, two says dy dx equals or something or other. Yes. Um, uh, open parenthesis one over x cubed minus one x plus x squared close parenthesis x. Well, if this one, as a comparison, this problem really has no big idea. It simply says find the derivative. Once you find the derivative, evaluate the derivative for an x value of negative 1. Okay, let's check the whole room. This means I understood what I just said. This means I didn't understand what you just said. So 1 means I get totally what we're trying to accomplish. This means I double. Can you say it one more time? Yeah, one more time. So what I see in front of me is simply, I'm supposed to find the derivative of this. And once I find that derivative, I'm supposed to plug in the next value of negative 1. So this means I get it. This means I don't. Show me. Good, cool. Um, so to find the derivative, we first would use the add subtract property to break it up into pieces. Uh, then we have two options. We can use the quotient rule or we can do some algebra first and then use the power rule. I'm not sure which way is better. I've seen people make mistakes both ways. So I'm just going to use the quotient rule. So we say bottom, derivative of the top, top times derivative of the bottom, all divided by bottom squared minus Here's a place where errors will occur for sure. Now be very careful when you subtract to make sure that what you're subtracting is considered as a whole. With the fraction bar, you don't actually need to have parentheses. You can just draw the big fraction bar. You say bottom, derivative of the top, minus top, derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom square. And then this derivative is pretty easy. It's just 2x. Questions from anyone? Keep going. This is zero. That's going to be three x squared. So minus three x squared over x cubed squared minus. This is zero. That's one. So it's minus one x squared and then plus two x. We need help to that point. Um, to keep going, this reduces a little bit. These can divide because they're both factors, and the top and bottom are both factors. So we get negative 3 divided by x to the fourth. Negative becomes positive. So we need help to there. Please. So our whole goal is to plug in the, the negative one and then get an answer, right? So could you just plug in the negative one at the step before the last one? And everyone listening, to, everyone listening to land in five tickets. Uh, no, very very smart. You have to make sure you take care of all the derivative operators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the one is perfect, perfect. Right here is perfect. Okay, okay. absolutely, absolutely. And it kind of depends problem to problem whether it's easier to clean up first or clean up second, but absolutely, it's perfect. No. Awesome. So,
I just started yesterday. Well, it's actually really the equation to Yeah. Because I did that, but now I'm like, 
Not sure. Right. If you take the constant out here, yeah. you would have had a 2 right here, uh, parenthesis, then it would have been y dx dx plus x dy dx. So it would have, yeah, okay. See it? Good. Yep. No? Always two points if I don't say. Then we just divide. What do we have an equation for? 
to right. compute like points, basically. To compute points. You plug in an X, you find a Y. Or you plug in a Y, you find an X. But this is so we can compute points. We computed all the points, we get some sort of picture, right? A graph. And I don't know what the graph looks like, so any random thing will work for now. Okay? We're interested in a specific point on this graph. Uh, two for Lennon. What point are we interested on this graph for Henry? One comma two. One comma two. So we'll just pretend that happens to be here. Questions? Okay. So um, well, let's see. They want to know. Oh, we found Y prime. We can't lose track of what this is for. Okay. I want everyone in the room to, to raise their hand on this one. In terms of this picture, what is the purpose of this equation right here? In terms of the picture that I just drew, what is the purpose of this equation? All who know. If you don't know, it's a bit of a problem. We've got to get you to get a flashlight <coughs> to forget. What is the purpose of this equation in terms of this picture? All we know. Let's go, Lexi. Say about it. Uh, actually, slope at any point. Yeah. So we could plug in any x, y, we can find the slope <coughs> anywhere on this curve. Uh, how many knew that before she said it? Show me that. Show me that. <laughs> points three for less. That's the big picture. Is that pretty good? Yeah. Cool. You need a place to sit. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do new seats pretty soon, so you can just choose one. I would like three over here. here. No. Is he in our class now? Yes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So wherever you'd like, we'll just sit up front. Let's try out some 
time I've been chat watch it. I win. I told you. What year? Last time we watched that movie. <laughs> so awkward. They were the couch. I was the most angry. Hey, hey, listen, please, listen, listen. Yeah, the big picture is so important that I, I really want to see everyone look up. I want to see everyone taking detailed notes on this one. This is number 11 he's talking about. Like, I want you in your notebook drawing a nice, pretty detailed picture here. Don't worry about the scale. Like, don't worry about where one and two and things. That takes too long. Just we're going to put up this. What's the function? Oh, we'll read the function to you. Um, okay. X equals plug. Here we go. Plot new function. This is number 11. Yeah. Go ahead. Oops. Parenthesis. Yeah. Probably 1 minus 2x. Close parenthesis. I'll take it. Is that right? So let's make this so you can draw it, but this is not, what's the point we're interested in? One negative one. Okay, so we don't need to see all of this. We're going to kind of adjust. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you know what that was? Now, you are not expected to go in the slope side, but letting me create the picture will help it stick in your memory better. He knows it all. Drawing the pitch will help it stick in your memory better. So really, I want to see in your notebook, make it a pretty good sized picture because we've got to label a lot of things. So you have an X, you know, Y axis, X axis, and then don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of draw this rough graph, okay? And don't worry about the X and Y grid marks. So draw that. write that down so you can see it a little bit better. So in red, we have the function. Um, you step walk. Function is f of x equals um, x times parenthesis 1 minus 2x all Where do you get that drawn? I want to ask the whole room, raise your hand if you can tell me what is the primary purpose of this equation. I want to see everyone raising their hand. If you don't know, don't raise. But what is the primary purpose of this equation? You've got to keep track of the big picture. What is the primary purpose of this equation? All the notebooks. Start the bidding at two tickets. Three. Three. We're up to three. <laughs> four. Four. Three. Four. Three. Four. Three. Four. 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 What's the purpose of that equation? Let's go, Ellie. Plot the points. Plug in an x, we find a y. We plug in an x, we find a y. We plug in an x, we find a y. How many would have said that? Should we go? Oh. So that's four tickets, five for Ellie. Yes. Okay, next thing, I want to see one next or two. Look at me, hey, be honest, please, be honest. I want to see one or two. One means I understood what was just said. Two means I'm still a little foggy about what you mean. Give me a moment. One or two. So one means I understood that the purpose of this equation is to find all of these different points. Two means I don't understand. You can do secret ballots or else no. Sarah's great. She does it both like this. Okay, good. Next thing. Uh, so that's what we have. Let's go back to the problem now. Let's get a picture here. This is number 11. Oh 11, f of x equals. Would you like it to just get you? <laughs> no, it's one minus three. Oh, right. yeah. I need to take the whole day. Oh my god, this is what he's missing. Hey, I gotta get Chad and Brain not to talk so much. Sorry. That's all right. Um, 
What is the question asking? Um, the equation of the line tangent to the graph point one negative one. So the tangent is slope. <coughs> Point is once again open. The line and the line. Okay, just so we can get a better visual here. Um, go back to this. We need to plot the point. Um, I'll do this for my desk. Hold on a second. Use the keyboard. Okay, Chad, look at the answer and read the answer to me here in a second. Be prepared to read it. Of the problem? Yeah, one second. Back page. So find what the letter answer is and be prepared to read it to me. So we're going to point the point here. So the point is, what's the point again, Oakley? One negative one. So we plotted the point. Now we're going to plot the line tangent. What is it, Chuck? Negative 7x plus 6. Thank you. That cannot be the right answer. No. You only did negative 7x, not plus 6. Oh, I messed up. Two oh, points for Chad. Uh, I messed up. I swear. Chad did read it right. Oh, he just won't let me type. Plus, what a stupid piece of software. Okay. If I had the source code. Um, hard to fix if you don't have the source code. Okay, we're trying to find the equation of that line. Is everybody clear on that? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. And I do what I always do, I leave the pen somewhere. Yep, it is. Okay. So we go back to our notebook. I'm trying to find the equation of the line tangent. First thing we do is write down the equation for any line. Hey, you should have a flashcard for this, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Someone reminds us, what does the M mean? What does the X1, Y mean? X1, Y1 represent? Go, Brady. Does it mean the, the coordinates that you were giving? Uh, everyone hear this. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I hear a voice. I think that's your voice. Any point. Yeah, any point's a better way. Don't ever say it's the points you were given. It may not match up with some other future problem. Okay. But what is always true is that it's any point. So it's <coughs> any x, y coordinate on the line. This one's the slope of the line. So Someone help me, what do we know so far? Um, we have a point. We have a point. So we can plug that in. Yeah. <coughs> Question? Flashcards and find a flashcard that talks about 
how to find the slope of a function at any point. Find your flash card. Raise your hand when you know how to find the slope of the blue line. I'm gonna get more people raising their hand. How do we find the slope of the blue line? Look at your flash cards. One of the cards will tell you how to find the slope of the blue line. Flash cards really help make the memory permanent. If you just keep listening to me say it, it doesn't become permanent. If you read it yourself, it helps. Everyone in the room who knows how to find the slope of the lift, please raise your hand. Wait by We're missing people. Wait by five. <laughs> there are about three-fourths now. Listen. We need to find F prime. How many knew that we needed to find F prime? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, Melissa. Yeah. Back to here. Work over here to work. So we got f prime of x. Uh, it's the product rule. So take the second function. Multiply by the derivative of the first. Plus the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second. Uh, x isn't a constant. Sarah on the front. And then it becomes plus 
somebody what goes here? Uh, let's go right here, Ellie. Pause there for questions. Yeah, Ellie. Okay. 
says that. You must have a card that says that. The white coordinates of f prime are the tangent slopes of f. So back to here. Let's do a little activity for the whole room. Okay, you can do these in your head or you can write it out on your paper. It shouldn't be really too bad. Um, please tell me what goes here. Show me. Everyone who knows, I'll pay every word. If you raise your hand and you have it right, I'll pay. What number goes here? That's not too bad. What number goes here? Work it out. Come on, make your brain work. Don't just sit in class and passively listen. Like activate your brain. Raise your hand if you know what goes here. What goes here? Most everyone participating. Still a few people who just started today. So, what goes here? Let's go, Amanda. Amanda says one. How many would have said one? Two points three for Amanda. Have a question. Let's see this one now. This is a little tougher. Zero one has two meanings. Look here. Zero one. I got that first. Look here. Look. Zero one. This is a point on the f prime graph. So this is also the slope right here. At x equals zero. This has two meanings. <laughs> Okay, show me one if you understand both meanings, show me two if you don't. Quickly, quickly, if we get to speed up, we're just kind of dragging the day. One means you understand both of those meanings, two means you don't. Good, give everybody three tickets. Okay, back to here. We're trying to find the equation of the line tangent, which means we're trying to find the equation of this blue line. We know that that equation fits this pattern right here. So, so far we have this. How do we finish the equation of the blue line? We need to find the M. We need to find the M. So I heard a voice. I couldn't tell which voice it was. How do we find the M? Um, it's the of uh, what? Of F9. Close, close. Three for Jacob. You need to find M. How do we find M, John? You would have to find like what F prime is equal to at the point that we're looking at. Nice, nicely said. So we go find F prime of one. How do we this? Sentence in English telling me what that meaning is. Raise your hand. Come on. Who 
can write a sentence in English tell me what that means? Show me your hands. Or you can write a sentence in English telling me what that means. Right. Uh, I can't hear you, but what do you think? Good. So, I, um, I don't know what that Uh, two points for a good try. Right. All I know, what is it? Who can write a sentence that tells me what this means? Um, so everybody's going to write this down because we've got to, like, really look at me. Like, eyes up here, eyes up here. Look at me. You really have to be able to answer this question much faster than we are. Like, it's got to be as quick as what's 5 times 5? Oh, my. What's five times five? Twenty-five. Yeah, it's got to be quick. Okay. It's got to be quick. Somebody, what is the meaning of this sentence, Deborah? When F of X is at one, Okay, everyone, write that in your book. I had it. Like right below this. Deborah, write in your notes. Let's go. Okay. Uh, one. On F. The tangent slope of f of is negative 7. Write that down for the When you write things down, they become more a part of your memory. Okay? Back to this picture. What did we just learn about the picture? All who know, please. Hey, all who know, raise your hand. Come on. What did we just learn about the picture? All who know, raise your hand. Sluggish today. What do we know about the picture? All who know. Gotta get more people raising their hand. We just learned something about the picture. And I got like 10 people just like staring at me like this blank look. Like, I don't know what that really is. Um, <laughs> what class are we in? Lindsay, please. Oh, okay. Slope of what? Uh, F. Perfect. Slope of F. So if I follow the red F, I get to what point on F, Lindsay? Oh, no worries. No. From, you, have to, you have to look at this. From your notes, what point on F did we find the slope of? One. One. So go right to here. Here is the point. X equals one and y equals negative one. And at that point, I know the slope right there is negative seven. How many knew that before she said it? Show me two, three for Lindsay. Yes. Uh, we have discovered the slope of something else in the picture. All we know what else? Wait, what did we just find? So what we figured out was the slope, what Lindsay said was the slope of F at x equal 1 has a value of negative 7, and the slope of the red curve. We have discovered something else that has a slope of negative 7 as well. What else in the picture has a slope of negative 7? What else in the picture has a slope that is equal to negative 7? What else? Jeff? The tangent at that point? Um, thank you. So the blue line. This blue line has a slope of negative 7. How many knew that before he said it? Show me. Two, three for Jeff. I actually did. It's actually not because of any equation. These two slopes are exactly the same simply because that's what a tangent line means. Yeah, tangent line means slope is the same. Yeah. Okay. So now we can finish the problem. Y is equal to. Slope is negative seven. Did they write it in this form or is it in a different form? So they, they want to say that? They simplified it. They distributed, right? We did it. Oh, I can do it. Please, Chad. So, like, the plus 6 at the end of that, 
Is there any way to use like the F graph to figure out what that is, or is that just like kind of given? Uh, it has sense? nothing to do with the F graph actually. So. Okay, so yeah. It's not really. I mean, it, it has a. Actually, you can just draw the tangent line and you find it. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't draw the tangent line and find it. You just. Oh, no, I was. Well, no, yeah. In my head, it makes sense. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you should delete that from your head. <laughs> yeah, it was right. Um, there's not a similar problem later in the homework. It's oh like gosh. this, but there's like three of them that have the same slope. So how would you differentiate like the different answers? Um, so let's, I gotta kind of look at which number is it? 35. Here you go. Oh, I did. I that was right. So don't don't yeah. give me that. So we I guarantee it's right. We're going to be from here. Why would I believe the correct information? since the very first day of class. The purpose of this equation is to find every single point on this red curve. And when we start the problem, all we know is the x coordinate is negative 1. They don't tell us the y coordinate. So I just wrote down f of negative 1 as a symbol that represents the y coordinate. Now if I want to find that actual value, I go grab the f formula, plug in negative 1, and I get f of negative 1 is 4, which means on this graph of f, when the x-coordinate is negative 1, the y-coordinate is 4. Show me one or two fingers if that made sense. One or two. Testing for three weeks. One or two. Oh, Heidi's just subtle. I can never see that she was actually doing anything today. Like, Heidi, you just checked out on me today. That was so good. Okay, she's already going on one. All right, good. Question. Why? Go, no, please. Why don't we have to do the derivative of that one when we plug in the x? Look out, look out. Hey, look. Uh, this is why the big picture is so important. We do have to do the derivative as well. Totally different reason. So we use the function to find this y coordinate. Yeah. Um, that, now we say we've got to find the slope of the blue line or the slope of the curve at x equal negative 1. So that's what we need the derivative for. The derivative is for slope. Um, I would not memorize it quite that simply. That will cause trouble. Okay, this formula here, function, it's how we find every single x, y point on this curve. Yeah. The derivative has two purposes. We're going to encounter problems where you've got to go find every single point on the f prime term. Yeah. That's one purpose of this equation. Yeah. But the secondary purpose is to find the slope everywhere on the curve. Yeah. So that's what we did. We found the derivative. We plugged in the point we want, which is negative 1. Yeah. So f prime of negative 1 is 7, which means back here on this picture that the slope right here, the tangent slope of f at x equal negative 1 is 7. Yeah. That came from using the derivative down 
here. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Good. I want one or two. How many are comfortable with this statement right here and the fact that it came from this work? Show me one or two. Come on, show me. Checking everybody. Some people are going like this. <laughs> What's going on? So. Three tickets for everybody. Thank you. Okay. So then, look, hey. Then you put the information all together into the equation for any line. So it said y equals the slope of the line, x minus the x coordinate that is on the line, plus the corresponding y coordinate on the line. Region of that, no, sorry, no. One or two, if that made sense, please come on. One or two, if that makes sense. Yep. So now we need to write the equation of the line. So to write the equation, I say y equals the slope of the line, x minus the x coordinate on the line, plus the y coordinate that goes with the x. One or two, please. One or two. Show me. One or two. Three, four, three, four. Three points for everybody, but somebody didn't quite see it. So what you have to have memorized is this. The equation for any line looks like so. That's one of your flashcards. Equation for any line. We're just going to fill out this equation for the line up here. So this is a point on the line. Here it is, negative 1, comma 4. And this is the slope of the line, which we found over here. Questions? Please, yeah, I have a question. So I get everything that you said, but so when you get your answer for what the, the function is for the line, what does that exactly, I mean, I know it represents the function, but like, what can you use that to solve, basically? Awesome, perfect. Right. I can take this the formula for the line, and I can find every single point that is on the okay. line. Yeah, well, that's it's always the same thing. It's always the same thing. Anything else? OK, Mikhail, let's take a minute to get to your question, but. So I'm assuming you got to here. Yeah. Uh, what you needed to notice there is that none of the answers look like this. Yeah. But if you distribute, you find the answer. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Okay. We need to do another example for tonight's homework. Hold on. The same packet. We'll finish the packet tonight. I'm still evaluating <laughs> 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 um, No, I, I, I have my ideas about how we should change school. Uh, we spent way too much time. I just hear so many people say, We made it up. So I don't know if anyone was sponsored. Actually, it was actually a good one. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? So let's, let's make this one very short. Yeah, I think it's back. 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 Do a much better job of scheduling events to not interrupt the I mean, that was great. It is a really bad part of our culture, in my opinion. We all say education is really important. We all cheer wildly when we don't have to you knew that was there, but you All right. Hey, turn to number five, please. Turn to number five, please. We got it. What's the number five? Number five is the equation of the line normal. Stop right there. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> 
two, what's the to what dimension? Uh, y equals x cubed plus three x squared. Is that divided by? Oh, no. Plus, it's just a weird, okay, plus 7x minus 1. Yeah, you'll never see that symbol. Sorry, I'm just playing. No, 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 no worries. No. Yeah, that divide symbol you won't see. It's <laughs> bad for you. At what point? Oh, sorry. Um, x equals negative 1. You write that down in your notebook, please. This is number third, this is number five. Write that down. Okay, we got nine minutes. We're gonna go much quicker because we have actually talked about every single big idea that is needed to solve this problem, except for one. The one idea we have not talked about is really, really simple. So when we get to it, we'll show up, it's really easy. But I wanna go quick, I wanna do it as a group. So I'm gonna ask lots of group questions. So please um, be quick on either the raising your hand, Show me the one or the two. Like, I want to go fast. So, like, snap to it quickly. Like, if you get it, show me one. If you don't get it, show me two. Okay, but don't sit there and go. Um, okay, look. Huge advice for everyone. Huge advice on all of these problems that say find the equation of the line tangent. Uh, by the equation like normal, if you draw a quick, easy picture, everything becomes easier. So I'm going to draw a picture. We have a blue function. We have a point on that blue function. X equal negative 1. We need a symbol to represent the y coordinate because we don't know the y coordinate yet. All who know the symbol that belongs here, show me your hands. That's better. What symbol belongs here? What symbol belongs here? What symbol belongs here? Heidi. Wow. Uh, y is correct. Two tickets. No, not prime. Not prime. Be careful. That. Be careful. Go look. Heidi. Heidi. Look up. Look up. This is the function f. We find the points of f using f, not y prime. Okay. Uh, who knows what other symbol? Y is a correct symbol. It really is. There's just a better one that can go here. Jackson. Now you're the one. Um, Jackson says f of negative one. Since I'm taking the time to write it, it must be the correct answer. How many would have done that? There you go, two, three for Jackson. We have a question. You gotta memorize that. You gotta be quicker on that one. F of negative one. So how who knows how to find f of negative one? Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Who knows how to find f of negative one? Show me your hands. Who knows how to find f of negative one? Daughter of Lieutenant Colonel Derrick. Oh, I love it. Nice, do it right, Eric. negative one, two. Oh, one second. Nicely done. Every one of you do that. Raise your hand when you know the result. I'll pay. Come on, do it. Everybody work it out. As soon as you have the result, raise your hand. Sure. No. I wish I had more to give you. I just ran out of stock. Yeah, 
No flash red for you. You weigh 5,000 in the last two days. The green is the normal line. So, so that's the normal is perpendicular. To one the normal one. means perpendicular to the tangent. That's the negative one. Uh, no, the point is negative one, negative oh. six. Okay. Yeah, no good question, Jacob. The point is negative one, negative so six. Line normal means the perpendicular line. To the tangent. Perfect. Perfect. Line normal means perpendicular to the tangent. So really not a hard idea, just got to memorize the name. So Here we go. Cool. Um, so we need to find an equation of this line. You start in exactly the same way as the line tangent equations because that formula I gave you, if you look at your flashcard, it says this is a formula for any line. So it works. So it works. <coughs> yes. It's perfect. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, Finding the equation of the line normal is really not hard at all, as long as you know what normal means. Yeah. From there, it's really easy. So we have y equals m x minus x1 plus y1. We can already plug two things into this equation. Raise your hand. You know what two things get plugged in. Come on, show me. Click on the draw. What two things get plugged into the equation? What two things? Tara. Negative one and negative six. So it's exactly right, Tara. M, uh, and then let's use x um, plus one. And I'll do this just for emphasis. Yeah, okay. Part. And part. then minus six. Good work. How many knew that? Two, three for Tara. So thank you for being good support about the rules. Anybody else? So as Tara said, you can write it a little easier like this. Questions? Perfect. Uh, Sarah Parker figured it out. We need to find the slope of the green line. Derivative. Uh, derivative is where we start. <laughs> so we go f prime of x. <laughs> okay, this is a simple polynomial. Please raise your hand if you can tell me the derivative just by looking at this. You really need to be able to do this without any writing. Who can find this derivative just by looking at it? So I've got to get everybody to be quicker here. It's just a polynomial. They're all being added. And then what is it? 3x squared plus 6x plus 7. Pause there. Are we good? Plug in negative one. sentence that describes the meaning of this math sentence. Show me your hands. Come on. We did this earlier. We just got to get more people to be able to do this quicker. What's the meaning of this math sentence? So, Mikkel? Uh, f of x, or x equals negative 1, and then y has a Good. So I come up to the picture. Here's f. I go to exactly what Mikkel said. I go to x equal negative 1 on f. And I find that the slope of the line tangent at that point has a slope that is equal to 4. And I'm going to write 4 over 1 for a reason. We'll see in a second. I'm going to understand what Mikkel said perfectly before she said it. Two tickets, three for Mikkel. Okay, now it's what Sarah said. The slope of the green line, you learned this in a previous class, you may have forgotten, forgetting is normal, is simply the negative reciprocal of the tangent slope. So you flip the slope and change the sign. Now we can write the equation of the green line as this. Don't 
don't leave. The bell's going to ring. Don't leave. Are you with me? Don't leave. Don't leave. Now you have to distribute. Don't leave. Yes, sir. Next. And the last thing they did is they wrote the answer without any fractions. So they multiply both sides of the equation by four. Kobe Pettison, please go out front for checkout. Kobe Pettison, please go out front for checkout. Ah. Kobe Pettison, please go out front for checkout. Yeah, that's loud. Um, Kobe. <laughs> Get out, Frank! Okay. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> like a Brian Regan joke. It's the last helicopter out of Vietnam. Okay. <laughs> what? It's a good joke. All right. So this times this is negative x. This times this is one negative. Then they move the x to this. Oh, I forgot to multiply that. Come on, <coughs> pressure's on. Twenty-four. Thank. Then they just move the x over here. Good work. You can go. Thank you. X plus four y. Yeah, 